This is a final view of the brake system plumbing. Special care should be taken whenever plumbing a brake system. In this case, the brake system was plumbed from scratch. I use detailed part schematics, shop manuals, and images of stone stock vehicles to determine the proper routing of the tubing. I made several improvements implementing safer practices for routing the tubing. The appearance is much like stock, with subtle nuances that improve the safety and reliability of this single braking system. This vintage car is very valuable. All appearances must be like stock. Armor Guard is employed here to protect the tubing just as the factory illustrations dictate. Clamps are the same as original equipment and fastening hardware also mimics the original equipment found on this car. The most difficult pattern was the connecting pipe between the two half wheel cylinders at the front brakes. This 1957 Chrysler New Yorker car has center plane or constant contact type brakes with half wheel cylinders at the front wheels. This original equipment brake hose feeds one wheel cylinder, which in turn feeds the second wheel cylinder. Each half wheel cylinder applies pressure to one shoe. When routing brake tubing, always avoid sharp edges or an area that could become chafed by moving parts. Moving parts include body panels and items like the engine, transmission, or any member that moves separately from the frame of the car. Where tubing runs in pairs, keep the tubing separated, making certain that there's no chafing from vibration between the two tubes. Again, routing at the tubing is carefully applied so that no rough edges of the frame or moving members can touch or chafe the tubing. On some brake systems, tubing that runs in pairs is clipped together. If there are factory methods for clipping tubing together at strategic points, that is an alternative to keeping the tubes separated. Tubing should be routed or clipped in a manner that prevents the tubes from shaking or vibrating over time. Always again, make certain that the tubing is not moving over a rough edge. This is a rare convertible chassis that has an X member through the center of the frame. The clips are attached to the original holes drilled by Chrysler in 1957. Tubing follows the original routing This armor guard is shown in the factory parts illustrations. If careful attention is paid to the assembly of the car and the design of the frame and body, it's obvious that the body could chafe on the brake tube. Being a single braking system, that could be catastrophic. The body rubbing on the tube could wear a hole in the tube, and if that were to happen, there is no backup to the braking system. This is a single braking system. Note that the routing of the hose is also careful. There are no twists or wrinkles in the hose. As the axle rises and sets, the hose must clear the frame. This is the proper routing of the rear brake hose. The Y-shaped T is also factory. That splits the rear brake tubing into a left wheel and right wheel approach. The wheel cylinders at the rear axle are more conventional dual piston cylinders. One brake tube feeds the single wheel cylinder at each wheel. Note that the tubing does not rub against any metal objects. The bends in the tubing create enough tension that these tubes will not vibrate. The somewhat unusual loop in the tubing is actually an exact emulation of the factory bins. The long tube requires two clips along the axle housing to keep the tubing from flexing, vibrating, or moving. 
These clips were factory installed. They were spot welded to the axle housing. The routing of this tube from the Y to the right side brake is the exact location and pattern of the original equipment. The loop downward toward the rear leaf spring on the right side is similar to the left side. Leaf springs serve as protection for tubing. On more modern braking systems, armor guard is used in areas where rock debris or any kind of chafing could take place. Road debris can damage a brake tube. On vehicles used off pavement like a 4x4 truck or Jeep, it is crucial to use armor guard in areas where tubing may otherwise become damaged from trail debris, rock, or tree limbs. This vintage Chrysler car did not use armor guard on the rear brake pipes. Modern cars typically have armor guard across the entire axle. Armor guard is typically stainless steel spring type material that is resistant to abrasion, nicks, or chafing. Tubing is protected. In plumbing a brake tubing system from scratch, consider using armor guard at all vulnerable areas. This is especially true on 4x4 vehicles or any vehicle that may have undercarriage debris, exposure to corrosion, or hard objects.